What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode here on the 12 Sprues of Christmas. We're down to build day number 11, so just a couple more to go. And yes, I know it's after Christmas, but like I said last episode, we've extended this to the entire month of December. I'm hoping to go ahead and finish this up within a couple of days. So let's go ahead and dive right on in here. We'll pull out the box. Let's see what we have in store for today's build day. So you can see from the box, we completed the first row, the second row, and we're halfway through the last row here. We're going to move on to build day number 11, which is this opening right here. The last time we built that lag three by Zvezda, pretty tough little kit, very tiny, no details. Let's hope we have something a little bit better in this container. So let's go ahead and punch right on through there. Fish around inside. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. And drum roll, please. Oh, look at this. This is a 144 scale Ravel EF2000 Eurofighter Typhoon. This is one of those aircraft that just looks awesome. So let's go ahead and grab that kit and check it out. I got to tell you, this is one of those airplanes I don't know much about, but I love the look of it. I just love that delta wing pattern. It's got those front canards, just a really neat looking aircraft. Let's go ahead and pull out the plastics. One single poly bag. Already I can tell it's a bit more detailed than the last kit that we built for sure. That Zvezda was really kind of a tough little job to do. We have our instructions and yeah, the plastics look pretty decent. Full weapons load out, of course. A couple different options probably. Open these up here. Take a look at those decals. Wow. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed is the uh, decals are tiny. They are super tiny and there's a ton of them. As you can see, most of the decals are actually smaller than the identification numbers that they give you. These are very tiny, up to a hundred of these little decals. Now we're not going to use all of them because there's probably different versions, but still, that's a lot of decals. That's going to be rough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's going to be rough. I'm not looking forward to that. So we're going to check out the instructions and uh, see how detailed this kit really is. Standard Ravel instructions, nothing too fancy. Got our paint callouts right here. And we do have some cockpit detail, though there's no decals for that, so that's a little troubling. We do have our weapons loadout, of course. There's a lot going on in these instruction panels, so that helps out quite a bit. And like I figured, we can actually build two different versions. We can build the German version and the British version. So I'm probably going to go ahead and build the RAF version because I've already built a German aircraft that was way back in the beginning with that 262. So we'll build the RAF version. So just looking at the plastics, we can tell that this is a very nice little kit. I'm not sure how much detail we have on the inside of the cockpit, so I might just black it out. But other than that, I say we go ahead and queue up that time lapse and just jump right on in. We'll start up assembly, then we'll go ahead and move on to painting, get this thing rocking. So cue that music, cue that time lapse, let's do it.
All right, everybody, we are back, and the Eurofighter is more or less together. I got to tell you, this is a neat-looking aircraft. It really is. Now, we have all the parts and pieces more or less on. We are missing the burner cans and, of course, the missiles, which I'll put on a little bit later. But I just want to kind of go ahead and fix a couple of issues we have here. We have a couple of seams I want to go ahead and file down. Majority of the fit has been really, really nice, though. Don't have huge gaps and huge fit issues, and there's not really any misalignments with the parts. Everything kind of just goes together, and it's pretty uneventful, to be honest. Now, I did notice one issue here. I fold up the landing gears so that we have a nice, clean, very streamlined Eurofighter. And I noticed that there is a gap on the back of that wheel bay, which we've had to go ahead and fill in with some styrene. I used two very thin strips of styrene, glued them down in there, cut them off, and I'm just going to sand them down. And then we'll be ready to go ahead and start priming and painting. So let's go ahead and queue up that time lapse, pull out the styrene res, and get this thing primed, get this thing appreciated, and painted. So on with the show. Let's see what we can do. So that was a lot of fun, actually. Painting in these monochrome colors like I've been doing for a lot of these aircraft have really challenged me to try and figure out how to do some post-shade and pre-shade and all of that to get it looking kind of cool so that it has a color variation between the different panels and all that. And I think I'm getting better at it. I'm not perfect, nowhere near perfect, but I am getting better at it, which is nice. It's encouraging. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the decals. I have overcoated everything in gloss coat here, and that is all dry. 
We're ready to rock. We've got our micro saw and our micro set. Grab our brushes, and we're just going to start plugging away on these decals. Now, there are a ton of very tiny decals, about 100. Luckily, we're not going to use all of them because we're building the REF version, and that doesn't use the German markings. But still, there are a ton of markings. So let's go ahead and queue up a time lapse. I'm going to try to hit this quick and fast, get these done for you. And we'll be back. I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, everybody, we have returned and we have finished our 1144 scale Revell Eurofighter Typhoon, our awesome single seat EF2000. And here it is. I like how this one turned out. I got to tell you, it was a big change from the Zvezda. This is actually more detailed than the SU-27, but less detailed than the F-14 or the F-A-18 that I built previously. We put all the missiles. We've got everything glued in, all painted up. We did install an eyelet for a hook, so we're ready to go ahead and put it on the tree. And I don't have a lot of time left with my tree out for this year, but that's okay. I do have a couple more days. And I typically keep my tree up a little longer after New Year's because it's just kind of fun and I enjoy the ambiance. Of course, that means that we are done with episode number 11. We have one episode left. We will finish out the entire series. I'm very excited to see what we have in store for our very last kit. We have still three other kits in the drawing pool that we have a potential for being any one of those three kits. But that's it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to see you back here on episode number 12 for the finale of the 12 Spirits of Christmas. Until then, you guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on episode number 12 for the 12 Spirits of Christmas. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon. Yeah.